Lumen Studio background in Adobe Premiere Pro 2018. So this is the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro for Creative Cloud members. Um, here's an example of what we're gonna be doing. We've got a uh, green screen guitar player and uh, we have her basically playing inside this uh, Global News background set. So I'm gonna show you basically everything that you need to know so that you can um, add your own green screen person onto this set. So let's get started here. I'm gonna close that and go into Premiere Pro. And I'll just play through this real quick so that you can kind of see, I'll move some stuff around here so you can see what we have going on. Um, but we've got this girl who's playing a guitar on top, on the top layer. And below that we have this uh, center uh, background studio layer. So there we go. So I'm gonna delete this out and delete all the stuff in my project so you can see how I did it from scratch. So the first thing that, um, that you do is uh, after you purchase the Global News Studio Pack, um, you'll download a zip file. If you're on Mac, it'll automatically uh, decompress to a file folder. If you're on a Windows PC, then you'll need to uh, double click it or right click and hit extract all. That will extract all the files um, into a folder. Then you can move that folder to wherever you need on your, on your hard drive. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in our entire folder, so the Global News HD V2. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into Premiere Pro. Um, there's a couple files in there that aren't gonna import. Those would be you know, another zip file and a PDF file that has some license information, that sort of thing. But it's okay, it'll just uh, bark at us once we import all the files and we'll just tell it to disregard those. So there we go. So there's those two items that I was mentioning right there. We'll just hit OK. And now we have our studio backgrounds imported. Um, just to give you a little bit of background on these uh, different uh, studio backgrounds, we have some that have a um, breaking news ticker that goes across the screen, uh, which loops. And we also have uh, a version that has uh, no text at all. So if uh, you either want to put in your own text in After Effects or Photoshop or even Premiere, you can add in your own text. If you just don't want any text at all, then you don't have to have any text at all. Um, not everything is breaking news, and so we know that not everybody needs to have that breaking news ticker up there all the time, but it might be something that maybe you use you know, on certain days and not on other days, so no big deal. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna drag this uh, center no words.mp4. I'm gonna drag it down to the create new sequence um, button here on uh, in Premiere, and that's gonna create a new sequence um, HD sequence in the same format and uh, size as the background itself. Um, next, I'm gonna import all of my assets for the green screen footage. And I have that in this folder right here. And we have three files. Um, we'll probably just use one or two of them just to kind of show the example of what we're doing here. We'll import those files. And so now we have three various uh, green screen backgrounds that we can mess with. Uh, the one that I used in the example is this guitar, gar, girl playing a guitar. And so we'll start with that one. So I'm gonna drag her right on top of the studio layer. So we have our studio layer and then we have our green screen layer. And you can see right off the bat that uh, this was filmed uh, sideways. And so what we'll have to do first is rotate the actual clip 90 degrees to the right. And so we'll do that by clicking on the layer, going to effect controls, and then going to rotation, and typing in 90 degrees. And now she's a little bit big, so we'll bring her down just a tad so that she's more in line with the, uh, the size of our background. Um, and we scale her back up just a little bit. Okay. And so now the, uh, the last thing we'll do is just kind of position her in the scene where we want her to be. And we'll just kind of offset her to the left there and make it look like she's standing on the studio floor. And so uh, to apply a green screen effect to this clip, we'll just come over to this effects window. If you don't see it on your screen anywhere, you can always go to window and then effects, and that'll pull up this window right here. Uh, just st start typing in uh, the word key, K-E-Y, 
and you'll have a bunch of different options. Um, probably the best one that I found that comes bundled with Premiere is Ultra Key. And so I'll click that effect and then drag it down onto the studio of the, not the studio layer, the, uh, the layer of the girl playing guitar. And then now with that layer selected, we'll come over to the effects controls window and then come down to Ultra Key. And the first thing we'll do is we'll select our key color. So we'll click that, select the background there. And what I like to do is I'll change this output from composite to alpha channel. And that'll give you a, a visual indicator of, you know, how much of your scene is getting removed from the uh, chroma key effect. And so now we need to go in and just make some adjustments to the uh, effect settings. And this will kind of adjust how much is left in the scene. There, and you can just kind of play with these effects to get the, uh, the best for you there. And then you'll switch it back to composite. And then you'll see, you know, the final, you know, variation or version of your of the of the effect in the scene itself. Um, I'm not going to go through it too much to try to get it exactly perfect, but this isn't bad. So you can kind of see how she's in there. Even retains a little bit of that shadow that was on the floor, um, which kind of brings her into the scene a little more, even. And then I'll play it back through, and I'm kind of laggy because I'm recording this at the same time, but you can see that uh, that she's in the scene there. Um, this particular background um, goes through until about 25 seconds. And then it switches to uh, a green background on the main background layer. And so what you can do there is if you would rather not have that big global news spinning globe, then uh, you can just basically add a um, slice the, the clip at the end and then delete out the beginning part. And then I'll right click on the layer, go to add frame hold. And then that will keep that um, background um, as a uh, as the green screen there. And so what we can do now is we can bring these up one layer. So now we have three layers in the scene. We have the girl playing the guitar on the top layer, and then we have the studio background layer, and then we have an empty layer currently. And I could take that. I don't really have an example piece of footage to throw back there, but I'll just put this guy back here. And I'll play the same ultra key effect to the studio layer. Select the green color in the scene. And as you can see, uh, the bottom layer shows through on that studio. We could scale a little bit. Position it a hair. And you could have either footage for your broadcast um, being shown in the screen. You could have a uh, almost like a tele um, interview, maybe where your uh, your interview subject is in the screen, and the foreground um, presenter is talking back and forth with that person. Or it could just be graphics and um, and and that sort of thing. So if you had any sort of graphics or uh, presentation information, you could throw that in this screen back here. Um, that's about it. That's pretty much how to do the virtual studio inside of Premiere Pro. Um, this studio set also comes with some extras. So let me pull those up and show you real quick. And extract these bonus items. Now I'll import them in so you can see what they look like. So the bonus items in this set include this studio background loop, 
this one as well. And also a lower third animation that you could then import and uh, use in your scene. So I'm just gonna drag that on top of our act actress there with the guitar. And you can see that. Um, and then you could just add text inside of Premiere for your lower third right there. And then it also comes with uh, these animated monitors that you can uh, bring into your scene and use as needed on a separate layer. And the way you would work these is you would um, isolate one of these um, monitor moves. Turn off some of these layers here. So yeah, so you would um, isolate one of these monitor moves. Delete out the rest. And then you could add a uh, frame hold like we did the other piece of footage. And then extend that monitor for however long you need inside the scene. Like that. And of course this monitor could go uh, in front of the person or it could go behind them depending on the way you put your layer. So if you put your layer uh, with the lady on top, like that. Then she'll be in front of the um, background. There we go. So you can see that she's kind of now on top. And then of course you could move and position this um, 3D animated monitor anywhere in the scene as you need. And the same thing with the 3D animated monitor. So you would, if you wanted to put a piece of footage inside of that area right there, you would basically apply a uh, ultra key effect to that layer. Select the green. Oops. Make sure you've got your monitor layer selected. and then select the green and it keys right out. And then you could put your footage or uh, presentation graphics inside of that monitor area right there. So anyway, if you have any questions or um, if you want more information on our backgrounds or anything, any of our services or anything, um, feel free to visit virtualsetlab.com. And thanks for watching.